Hi, good afternoon, and welcome back. Um, we're going to be talking today about Siebel Assignment Manager in the final part of our Assignment Manager flybys, and we'll be talking specifically about calendar availability. Now, some of the functionality relating to this example is specific to modules in Siebel Field Service. This does not mean that you need Siebel Field Service application. It does, however, mean that you need license keys for specific modules relating to scheduling and appointment booking. Let's get down to basics, first of all, and let's study an existing rule. Here it is. It's for the service request object, and it has check employee calendar set to true. Aside from that, it's an extremely simple rule which simply assigns French service requests to a French employee. Checking that check employee calendar box uh, requires a number of different steps both in Siebel Tools and in the application. Let's walk through them first. From Siebel Tools, if we look at the workflow policy object and the corresponding assignment object, we will see that in the assignment object there is a calendar create activity property which must be checked so that the appointment booking system can create activities and thereby indicate that you are not available. There are also three other properties which must be entered in this case. You'll notice that I have created three new columns to store this information. Uh, this is because the standard data model doesn't include them uh, for the service request object. Basically they correspond to the earliest possible time an activity could start, the start time of the activity, and the expected duration of the activity. Uh, this is all extremely well documented in the bookshelf and uh, there is an example already in this repository for the activity assignment object. I will at this point make quite clear that uh, everything that we're talking about is in the bookshelf either in the Siebel assignment administration guide or in the Siebel field service administration guide specifically relating to some of the administration we'll be talking about in a moment. There are also some user properties which need to be set up. Uh, these are just some examples of the values that you could have. So when a diary I activity is created for an assigned worker it will be of type assessment. The priority will be read from the corresponding service request priority code. So this is an example of using a column user property against a value user property. And in many cases, when it comes to planning activities in your diary, uh, some activities can be broken up into multiple parts. Uh, so you could do 20 minutes now, 20 minutes later, and 20 minutes at the end of the day. And some of them are not breakable at all. They must be done as a single 60 minute stretch, for example. Anyway, so you have uh, made these changes in your Siebel repository on your server. And in Siebel service, or in the corresponding screens if you have the license codes for the modules, you will create a service region. A service region typically represents countries, territories, zip codes, an area that is covered by one or more technicians. And you'll see that in this particular service region we have a schedule and the schedule is dictating when activities are normally scheduled. We also have a time window and a parameter set. The parameter set, as its name suggests, includes parameters about changing the behavior of the ABS, the appointment booking scheduler. The time windows represent, well, real life if you like. Um, if I have a 60 minute appointment there's no point in trying to make me do two appointments in two hours because, well, even if I was a magician, I would need a time window. So from zero to 60 minutes, we'll allocate a time window of 120 minutes. So that gives me time to prepare, gives me time to get away. This is used by another part of the application to optimize appointment bookings. We're not here to talk about optimizer, but it is an important part of setting up your service region. Once your service region is set up with all of the corresponding information, in your employee list you can then select for each employee a if I can find it, there we go, I'll drill down and we'll go to service details and we'll say that this employee works on this schedule in this service region. 
So we're able to uh, indicate to Siebel the kind of daily routine that this person should have for booking of activities. Before we go any further, we now need to make sure that we have at least one service request. Let's create a new service request and we'll leave the owner as blank for the time being. The early start time we'll say is oh, about 10 minutes about 10 minutes from now. The duration will be 60 minutes and the start time well Let me just check that I've got those right. I'll say 10.15. Early start time 10.15, start time 10.30, duration 60 minutes. Excellent, with no owner. And we'll drill down on the service request, of course, and we'll add some assignment skills and say that this requires a skill of language and that the language required is, of course, French for the purposes of our demonstration only. Excellent. So now that our service request is saved and has no current owner, we can proceed to run Assignment Manager. And we'll run Assignment Manager using a batch job to make it nice and simple. We'll go to an existing one and we'll copy it. The only parameter is the assignment object name and I'll submit the job. And let's see what happens shortly. So when we run our server administration job of type batch assignment with a simple service request parameter, what is actually going to happen? Well, because our assignment rule had a check employee availability flag set to true, uh, not only will we expect to see, first of all, our standard assignment batch log file, but you should also expect to see the appointment book log files as well. You'll notice that each of them has different methods that are called. These methods are all clearly documented in the Siebel Field Service Guide. And when we look at our assignment rule log file, we would expect to find, for example, sections relating to availability. Oh, spelling mistake. Employee127SJ is available. This is our protect this is our French speaking candidate. Of course when we log out we would expect to find items in their diary. The appointment booking functionalities are also available in a number of different areas of the Siebel Field Service application. So in this case you'll see that I have a service request and I have manually entered an activity. So I can request to book an appointment and the uh, slots available are 120 minutes long based on the time slots that we set up and um, I'm able to select it. That's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to speaking to you again soon from On Demand Education. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.